As you begin learning a new skill, you are going to fail. But don't let that discourage you, because in the process of learning, failure is essential. Firearms training with you here this morning. Uh, this morning I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, like I said in the intro, failure. Um, if you follow me at all, you know that I am a huge fan of John Korea and active self protection. And if you follow me beyond this channel, you probably know that I was on the range with him a few weeks ago and we did a drill. That, he, uh, that is called the five yard roundup. Um, I know he got that drill from somebody, but I can't remember his name now and I forgot to write it down. But anyway, I will leave a link in the description uh, both to his channels and to that particular video if you would like to go watch the whole drill. Um, but anyway, in that drill, uh, one of the strings of fire, I, boy, I just, I really did not do very good at. Um, some things had changed up. We were doing some things I don't practice. Uh, the cognitive load was a little, a little more than I'm used to, and I didn't do very well. Well, so that video uh, released on his channel yesterday, and I watched it again, and I thought, you know what? I really need to do some dry fire and work on that a little bit. Um, and what the, what the string of fire is, uh, from a low ready, you're going to have an empty chamber and one round in the magazine. And at the beep, uh, from a low ready, at the beep, you're going to come up on target, get it clear, and do a tap rack. Um, now, there is some discussion as far as whether that tap is necessary. Um, we've recently seen a video where a, a guard was uh, trying to do his job and he accidentally hit his magazine release. And his magazine dropped out oh, just a little bit. And so he was out of the fight and he wasn't thinking to get that tap in there. Now, um, if you run something like an HK with a paddle release, that's not going to be an issue. Um, now, my Walther, um, I don't know if you can see this, but my... Well, Walter, I have a shroud around my magazine release, so it's very hard for me to release that. So, would that really happen to me? You know what? I don't know. I, I seriously doubt it, but what if? There's always that what if. So, you know, and I, I've always been a believer that train a little bit for everything. You know, there are some things maybe we don't need to be as proficient, but we need to know. So give it a little bit of attention anyway. So that's all I'm gonna do here this morning is I've got my timer out. Um, the string is done in 2.5 seconds and I did not get it in time uh, when I was with him. Um, now, admittedly so, I was nervous. I was with my mentor. We were filming for, I don't know, he's got what, 200,000 subscribers. So, you know, how many people have that seen it? Um, so yeah, I, I was a little nervous and here I'm not quite so nervous. I'm in my own apartment. I'm by myself. Um, so I don't have all that pressure, but it's still something that I don't practice. And so I'm going to have to kind of think each piece until I'm able to put it all together and get it done. So that's what I'm going to do here this morning. Um, the other thing I want to mention is just because I'm only working on one piece of a drill or I'm working on something does not give me permission to be relaxed on my fundamentals. I still have to make sure I got a good grip. I still got to make sure I'm getting my sights on target. I still got to make sure my, my trigger pull is good. So we're still going to work on all that. Um, but anyway, so without further ado, um, just to show you that. So I am running my mag block this morning. I do have my barrel block in. Um, so, oh, hang on a minute. This, uh, that's very dirty. 
I, I said to myself before I started this, I needed to make sure I ran a Q-tip across that lens and I forgot. Anyway, so let's go ahead now. For the first few, I'm not going to put the timer on. I'm just going to run just kind of slow just to get the movements down. And then we'll put the timer on and we'll see what we can do through some time. So I'm going to get my good stance. I got my grip. So I'm going to come up. That's what it's going to be. Now, I don't think I needed to come all the way back here. I'm just tapping, so I could have been okay here. Let's try it that way. So up. That actually felt a little bit better. See, I'm wanting to come back here because that's how I do a reload. Is I bring them back in, and I, I reload. That's what I've got in my brain. So now what I've got to do is myelinate myself something a little different for this particular drill. So up, target, that, that. And that one was slow and wiggly. I was all over the place. <sighs> okay, I like it. Let's let's uh, put it on the timer a little bit. <sighs> now, like I said, this is a two point five second par time. That was a 1.7. Um, now, would this be a little different under live fire? Uh, probably, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to go watch this video again because I think in the video I am trying to come back a little bit and, and slap that up instead of just coming up from underneath. So let's try this again. Now, that was a 2.0, but I'll tell you what, I lost my sight. So I don't really know where that went. was a 2.1 and I really liked it. My my dot actually stayed on target for most of that and that really would essentially be what I want. See, I was all over again a 2.2. Two point two again, but again, I'm, I'm not losing my sight there. So, that's a two point one again. Um, so, and there we have it. Just through, and like I said, I don't know if the times would be the same on live fire. Uh, definitely something I'm going to have to do again. But as far as getting it done in dry fire, um, I'm going to work on it some more here off camera. But but I feel like through the failure that I had on his video and the instruction that he gave me, I've been able to take that. Um, and now that I'm able to work on it, it's feeling much smoother. I'm not feeling so janky. Uh, it feels like I can, there's still some bubbles, but I'll get there. Um, so there you have it. Um, yes, I, I didn't do very well before, but through some instruction with John um, and coming to do some, some dry fire myself, uh, it feels much better already. Now I do need, I want to work on it a little bit more so that when I do do it live fire, 
Maybe I can still have it under that 2.5, but keep it at this 2.0, 2.1 that I kind of been in. So that's my goal right now, um, is to try this a little while later in some, dry, in some live fire and make sure what I'm doing today is still there. Um, so anyway, I encourage you, do your dry fire 10 minutes a day, three days a week. Uh, pick something that, you know, that you're not so good at and, and just work on it for 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, you will improve. Uh, I promise you that. Um, so, hey, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Um, I see them all. Uh, I will answer any questions. Um, so, I appreciate you all and I sure do hope you have a good day.